Hey all, Russ here over at TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're on Highway 68. This runs between Kingman and Bullhead City Laughlin area. I have to come over here to Home Depot and Lowe's. Anyway, I thought we'd make a little adventure out of it. Hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. I spent it up around Kingman area. Took a few days off, all refreshed. I had a question. Oh, well, couple weeks ago about this area about is there BLM camping and is there a recreation area up on the road here and the answer is yes it's about nine miles from Laughlin you can see way down you can see the casinos down there and it's called Old Kingman Recreation Area ATV and then all kinds of good stuff so let's go find it Laughlin and Bullhead City area, they got a lot of big businesses. Actually, I even get the van serviced over here. It's one of the few places that will even do an oil change on this thing. Okay, we're almost up to it. It's called Old Kingman Highway Recreation Area. Uh, ATV in. I've never stayed here. I've only, uh, I stopped here once. Oh gosh, a long time ago. But here it is right here. Boy, that FedEx truck was moving, huh? Alright, well, let's pull in, get parked, check it out a second. There's been a ton of mining that went on back here. I know when you cross over the pass up top, there's some old mining structures from the old highway. You can only access it through uh, off-road. There you see it, U.S. Department of Interior, Bureau of Land Management. Once again, this is the Kingman, Old Kingman Highway Recreation Area. Ooh, look. Those are caves over there. Oh my goodness. Crawl in there and find you a big old gold nugget, huh? Almost kind of looks like quartz on the surface. Bet they're chasing an old gold vein or something. Wonder how long those things have been there. Absolutely perfect weather for end of November going to be in the 60s today, a little breezy at night, so it gets down in the 40s. Can't beat that, huh? But look at them caves. Those things been there a long time, right in the solid rock. Pretty cool. These little mountains through here are just picturesque. I always love driving this road, Highway 68. Sneak over the top, way out, you can see the blue water of Lake Mojave. Looks like they got water. We'll stop there too. We'll go down and check out Davis Dam on the way and we'll make a little adventure out of this trip. Then you can see the big old casinos. They pop right out of the desert. And that's Laughlin and Bullhead City area. A lot of people come here for hiking. Definitely off road. You can go clear over, you can go all the way over top Golden Valley. And there's all kinds of old mining camps and all kinds of stuff up through here. Kind of a cool little area if you haven't done it. And it's free. Dispersed camping. You'd get some of the road noise from 68, but oh well. There's one guy down there camping. Pretty cool. Plus, I think you can cut over on the other side through the wash under the 
highway. I always see rigs when you drive through here, RVs. Way out that direction is Oatman. The mountains going up towards Oatman. There's the big wash. I see tracks in it, so you can probably run a ATV through there. All the way down Bullhead City. Pretty cool. Hit the road. Back on 68. It's only a little over 30 miles between Kingman and Bullhead City Laughlin area. Yeah, to get the oil change in the van because it's uh, diesel. Very few places will touch it. There's a RV service center over here that I bring the van over to get it changed. Plus they got Sam's Club and pretty much the bigger stores. We're not that far from Vegas either. Actually, we'll cross into Nevada. We'll be right on the state line, Arizona-Nevada state line. Just a pretty drive. Get a chance, get out here. Okay, here's our turn. Let's go ahead and check out uh, Davis Dam, Lake Mojave. Maybe we'll run out to Catherine's Landing. Perfect Saturday morning. Yeah, it felt good to take a couple days off. I needed a break. Thanksgiving was good. But I'm ready to get back at it. Gonna be heading uh, down to Quartzsite later next week the actual Christmas parade is December 4th it's on a Saturday down there and our beer TV is going to be in it okay, here's a little peek at the lake right here make a left been here a few times always enjoy it very peaceful out here. Make a left. You can't cross all the way over the dam like you do in Lake Havasu Dam, but uh, they got a big parking area, storyboards. Wow, they just added that concrete there. Huh. I'll be darned, maybe they're putting up gates. But there's Lake Mojave, it looks a little bit low, but not bad. Thank goodness there's water. <laughs> After exploring what old Lake Mead and Lake Powell, them things are getting empty. See a little bit of a ring around the top of this, but not too bad. Wow, they've changed all this. Look, they took out all the old parking. Put in a big... Uh, Looks like sidewalk, maybe a bike path here, huh? So they got some trails going. All this used to be dirt parking. That has really changed. Okay, here we go. We can drive across part of the dam here. Davis Dam. And guess what? About the middle of this thing, I think we switch over to Nevada. Pretty cool.
There it is. This is a power generating dam. I think they built it back in the 50s. Let's take a quick walk around, check out a couple of the storyboards. I'm the only one here. Wow, brand new boards. Okay, there's Davis Dam. We'll run up Catherine's Landing. Boyd City, Laughlin. This thing's long. It's a lot of miles long. You can actually go all the way up to Willow Beach, Cottonwood. Cottonwood Cove, that's out of Searchlight, Nevada. Quite a bit of exploring here. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm the only one here. <laughs> I bet someone's in that, behind that glass there. Okay, here's uh, some plaques when it was built back in the 50s. Bureau of Reclamation. Yeah, let's cut over here. One of these times, I'd like to get over there. There's a park. And you gotta access it through Laughlin. You gotta go run across the river down there, Bullhead City. This one says, on the grid, producing power. But up there where that grassy area is, that's a park on the Nevada side. Looks like a few leaks, huh? <laughs> oh no. Wow, imagine the amount of water it's plowed through this thing. Goodness. What a view from up here. Fuel for the future. Hopefully they don't run out of water. <laughs> yeah, after filming Lake Mead and Lake Powell, goodness. That's what feeds this one, and this one runs into uh, Lake Havasu. Which Havasu's full yet. This one says, it's paid for. All the bonds they got when they built it are all paid off. That's pretty good. Yeah, these are brand new storyboards. The old ones are all crusty. There's the crane when they got to work on the power plant. Big old earthen dam. Holds back a ton of water as the lake goes way, way up. Almost all the way up to uh, Hoover Dam. Nice shadow out of the way. An ugly duckling. Talks about how ugly the dams are compared to the terrain of the desert. <laughs> Clear back when they built them. Well, good look at it. Let's go check out the uh, lake real quick. Wind's kind of picking up. Has a little chill in the air here. Last three days, we kind of had a wind event. A bunch of uh, storm fronts were moving through. No rain or clouds, it was just windy. 
All that's blocked off. They probably open that for maintenance. Road closed. You can walk across it. Ride your bike. This would have been a good one to bring the electric bike down. I gotta start hauling that thing around. And there's mighty Lake Mojave. It's down a few feet, but nothing like the other big lakes. Well, that's good to see. Look at that, they got a camera mounted there. A few of them. They keep an eye on the place. Imagine back in the day when you're allowed to drive across here. That would have been cool. Water's getting a little choppy. That wind is really picking up. There you go. There's Lake Mojave. That water is crystal clear. You can almost see fish. I thought I saw one. Water's a little choppy. Cool. There is a better look at that other park. And you can almost see the casinos all the way down. That big riverside. That's the original one, I think. Looks kind of different from out here, huh? It looks bigger than from up top. And there's that park. Looks like they're walking their dogs down there. They got dogs out. Picnic area. What? Try to check that thing out. Alright. To the van we go. This is all Lake Mead National Recreation Area. It's free to get in down here. There's no fees or charges. Great place if you would just want day use. Now when you get up to Catherine Landing, that's uh, fee based. So if you want to spend the day, bring your bicycles down, you could easily do it without going in all the way up into Catherine Landing. We'll run up there. It's early in the morning. We got a little time. I'm in no hurry. Like I said, we'll make a little adventure out of this thing. Yay! go back to Arizona. It's really something they uh, redid all this. It needed it. I know a lot of people tried camping down here. But they've added all those walkways. Really changed up the parking. Huh. Pretty cool. Put in lighting. Oh, look at that. People got their bikes. This is really nice in here now. And restrooms. Those weren't there before either. Okay, we're going to go up to the main road here and make a left.
Catherine Landing and uh, Marina. It's only about five miles right up here. There goes a fisherman. We'll follow him. There's actually a housing community off to the right here. All private homes. Not sure how the boundary is for the National Recreation Area. That turn right there takes you right back into those houses. All right, I got my uh, senior pass. Lifetime senior pass. Get in all these places for free. We'll see what the fees are in this one. Day use here is $25 per car and then they charge more for a boat. All right, welcome to Catherine's Landing. There is all kinds of stuff to do here. They got day use areas. We're not going to do that today. But you can go way up the lake on the shoreline. There's they got some day use areas. I filmed here a year or two ago and showed some of that. We'll just go down to launch. There's a motel here. RV park. Right there, that road to the right, that takes you up to those coves. On the right is the RV park. On the left is campground. There's even a mobile home. I bet that's for the workers, though. Mobile home park. There it is on the right, mobile home. A lot of boaters come here. These parking lots are empty right now. This is still part of the holiday weekend, I don't know. Huh. Maybe they're all heading home already. Even got green grass, yay. There's the motel on the left. And they got like a big marina store. Like a restaurant up here on the right. We should be almost down to the water. Yep, there's all the boats. Fuel, you can buy fuel here. All right, well, there's a little parking place over here I parked before. Let's stop a second. Check out the marina. There you go. Lots of boats. You can fish, houseboating. Boy, that bird, he's noisy. See him? <laughs> Big old black bird right there, huh? He's let me know I, he can see me.
Okay, well, I need to head into Bullhead City. I need to go to uh, Home Depot while I'm out this way. Too bad I couldn't go for a boat ride. <laughs> So up here along Highway 68, I mean within a little over a 30 mile stretch from Kingman to Bullhead City and Laughlin is the old Kingman Highway Recreation Area, off-roading, hiking, mountain biking, you get in a little farther, you can uh, day use at Davis Dam, come out here at Catherine Landing, actually camp, they got all kinds of good stuff, so uh, this area is just fully loaded with RV stuff to do. All right, I'm gonna get on in town, pick up my supplies. Maybe we'll run over to Laughlin next video. Explore around over there a little bit too. Maybe even find the other side of Davis Dam on the Nevada side. How about that? Journey continues. Talk soon.